Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're at the Ajun Castle. And this little cat just will not stop following me around. Like she's literally following me wherever I go. And she's so cute. She's a little kitten. I'm, I picked her up and put her down and now she won't stop following me around. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the um, Ajun Castle here. It's absolutely lovely. We won't spend a lot of time here as there's really not that much to see. But um, yeah, it's just definitely worth like a half an hour uh, tour up here. All right, I'm gonna have to say bye to the kitty now. The kitty's still following me. Bye, yeah. <laughs> kitty! All right, we're gonna continue on with our tour. My companions are already upstairs. Um, so we're gonna continue with the tour of the castle. Looks very kind of quiet here today. There's not a lot of tourists over here at the moment. This is the ancient weaponry, as you can see. They used to throw these boulders, um, that's catapults. They had a catapult, as you can see here, and they used to use these as weapons. So these are the old school cannonballs before there was um, gunpowder and things like that. So you can see these projectiles. I certainly want, wouldn't want to get hit with one of these for sure. Guess they have another stock of artillery over here. I wonder how heavy these are. I pick up one of these? Man, I don't think I'm able to. No, they're actually very heavy. Okay, this one I got. I got this one, but they're heavy. I would not want to get hit with one of these, you guys. This was war in the ancient times.
So hey guys, um, well my mini series to Jordan is done. My trip is done. Um, that was the last thing we did and um, it's pretty much all over now. I'm kind of sad because I'll be leaving Jordan and going home and you know getting back to my regular life and my regular work. Um, it was a fantastic trip overall. Um, I met a lot of new friends. I had a lot of wonderful food. Um, the only thing I regret not doing is um, getting to go down to Wadi Rum. I heard that Wadi Rum uh, is a beautiful kind of desert uh, place out in the desert where you could go and just like sleep under the stars and there's like no artificial lights out there so the stars are supposed to be very beautiful out there. I didn't have a chance to go there and I also didn't have a chance to go to Aquaba um, which is where the Red Sea is so I wasn't able to do that so it was really really um, disappointing but I'm not so disappointed because it gives me something to do next time it gives me a reason to come back so there's a lot of things I want to do when I come back to Jordan so hopefully I'll have a chance to do that maybe even next year or the year after next year hopefully I'll be able to go to Egypt and from Egypt if I have an opportunity I'll be able to also maybe come up to Jordan again and do the things that I haven't done this trip so it was a great experience um, I got a questions from a couple of my subscribers about how I was treated there like as a woman traveling alone, if it was safe and whatnot. And I would say absolutely yes. Um, as you know, use common sense ladies when you come to um, Jordan or any Middle Eastern country, for example. Like, you know, I walked around the streets, you know, I'm covered. I was uh, dressing very conservatively. Uh, the men did not like leer at me, they didn't. Some of them looked because, oh yeah, I don't exactly look Jordanian. But no one said anything, no one made any like indecent proposals or propositions or anything like that. Everybody was kind and helpful when I needed directions. People were um, willing to give them to me. They were very nice and they were very kind. And the men, and a lot of them really, really wanted to speak English. They wanted to practice their English. So I did not have any trouble over here as a single woman of color or a single woman in general. Just use common sense and dress like the locals. Um, in one of my previous videos, um, I took pictures uh, next to some Jordanian women. And as you know, they're pretty, they're dressed pretty conservatively. You don't need to cover your head if you're a foreigner when you're here. Um, so don't be compelled to do that in any way. Um, the locals do, but you don't have to, you know, fit in that much. Just make sure that you're dressed conservatively. You're not showing, an, you know, a usually large amount of skin and nobody will do anything or say anything to you. Yeah, so it was a really amazing trip. I didn't have any trouble. Even at night when I was walking around, I felt very safe. Uh, the only thing to watch out for, as again, is the prices of everything. Like, for example, knowing that you're a foreigner, they sometimes will try to charge you more. They pretty much think, okay, they're visiting, they're not going to be here for long, so they don't know what the original price is. But take a local with you if you're doing any major shopping or research in advance, as I said in my previous video, about how much everything is, and then you shouldn't have any problems um, with shopping or anything else. So guys, that's about it from me for this time. I really hope you enjoyed the series. Please like, comment, um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be going back to Bucharest for uh, a couple of weeks. And then after Bucharest, I'm going to be, and I'm going to head over to Sibiu, um, another little city in Romania, in Transylvania. And then after that, I'm going to be in Timisoara. Uh, Romania for the next couple of days. I'm going to be mostly working there, but hopefully I'll have a chance to at least get some shots of the city. It's a gorgeous city. And then after that, I'm going to be going to Belgrade, Serbia for a weekend. And then I'm going to be going back to Zagreb, Croatia for four or five days. It's kind of another working holiday kind of thing for me. I used to live in Zagreb last year. I was teaching English there. And so I uh, will be visiting there, visiting some friends, doing a little vlogging. And then after that, I will be heading back to the Netherlands where I will be spending the majority of the winter before going back to California. So yes, there's a lot of travels that um, are coming up for me. So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions for me about Jordan or you know any of my upcoming trips or any places that you would like to see me do a vlog in, let me know and let me know in the comments. Actually comment, let me know, and then I will do my best to try to put them on my list next year. Or if there's anything that you would like to ask me about traveling in general, you know, what I do for work, um, I'm going to be explaining all this, you know, as we go, but 
There's a lot of uh, wonderful travel-related uh, items I'm just dying to tell you about. So if there's anything that you want to hear about or ask me about, feel free to comment. And yes, I guess I will see you on the other side. So it's now time for me to pack my stuff, uh, grab my plane, trip on down to the airport, and then grab my plane home. Alrighty, guys, I will talk to you on the other side. Take care. Bye.